Sadness and condolences from the subcontinental Commonwealth. Flags flying at half-mast ahead of official mourning. The Queen's death brings an opportunity for older Indians to reflect on the monarch's lasting influence. I would remember her as a very fine person and a very graceful lady. She's that's like our mother's figure. She has attained such a level that everybody loves her. While others are torn about India's history under British rule. They had invaded India and uh, ruled us for about 200 years. But then uh, still uh, Indian and British people have got uh, a good relationship. It's clear this country is moving further and further away from its colonial past. This week, Prime Minister Narendra Modi changed the name of Rajpath or Kingsway behind me to remove that reference to a painful past. From former colonies in the Pacific to British territories overseas, headlines brought news that history had been made and tributes flowed in every language. Across the channel, the French president delivered a single rose. While in Germany's parliament, politicians paused. Ordinary citizens paid respect in Latin America. Yesterday, we lost a person of worldwide importance. A fascination and fondness for Her Majesty stretches right across the Atlantic. The Union Jack replaced stars and stripes on the US Capitol's famous avenue. Have you spoken to the king? I know him. I haven't spoken to him. I did not call him yet. The president confirming he will attend the Queen's funeral, though, in more than a week. Avani Dias, ABC News.